Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is for the vacant amateur lightweight title. It will be contested over five three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist has a perfect record of three and oh, he represents Har the MMA Academy Liverpool. Ladies and gentlemen, Matty Mazur. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This mixed martial artist has an amateur record of eight wins, two losses. He represents the Northwest Fight Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Morris. Our referee, Mr. Paul Crossman. Second bout on our main card on the second title fight. Chris Morris, red corner, green shorts. Taking on Matty Mazur, blue corner, blue shorts. Mazur caused an upset last time. Beating uh, a returning Jordan Chester for the submission in the first round. His teammate coming to get a bit of uh, vengeance for the gym with a belt on the line. He's a bit of a wild man. He's a, again, we, we talked about it a couple of times. He's a stonking big lightweight. Yeah, he stuffed that takedown well. Obviously, Morris was bread and butter as he's wrestling. He's all stuffed it, landed a couple of good knees. Gets turned though, Morris forcing his man up against the cage right in the Northwest Fight Academy's corner. Came so close to saying reps there. Nice, good body lock there from Morris, driving pressure. Mazur splitting his legs there, but he's going to get taken down momentarily, I think. And those Morris hands going to get class, going to suck those hips out. Yeah, pull that right leg out with an outside trip. There he goes, but good balance from that. Mazur to stay on his feet. Use that post well, back straight up. And just one of those guys who'll always just be hitting you like that in that kind of position. Most people are thinking, I'm going to wrestle and try and stay on my feet. Mazur's just like, well, I'll punch him in his face. And they can be like awful guys to fight, just constantly niggly and you know making things uh, uncomfortable. Yeah, making it hard for you to implement your own game plan. Still got that body lock trying to drag his man down. <laughs> finally. Yeah, finally gets that takedown, kind of secure the position. Resort instantly trying to work, trying to shrimp away, create space. Morris wants to slow this down, keep him on his back, keep him flat. Got that knee shield in. This is Mazur. Looking to pass slowly past that uh, butterfly hook is Morris. A nice knee slice through. He's going to get side control and looks like he's trying to instantly go to the mount. Just a bit of a knee in for uh, Mazur, but that cross face and a walk around to his head should work for Morris if he wants to clear that knee. Not a lot of time left to work in the round, though, you'd have thought. Knee on belly now. Yeah, Morris can still get busy here. Find a secure position to uh, land some ground and pound. Strong cross face, which I like. Oh. Gets to the mount, seamless. Jumps over to the mount. As well, try to bridge and roll. Morris did a good job keeping his position out to the back. I mean, again, you can see the, just the physical strength on display there for Missouri. But Morris, on the back, hammering away. Good luck to end the round. <laughs> Mazur smiling at the corner. Struts back to his own corner. And it took a while for Morris to get what he wanted, but once he did, when he got things to the ground, uh, it looked strong there, it looked dominant. He did, and again, the, the push and pull of, of the first round, these two guys over five rounds, they're, they're gonna they're gonna feel that. Yeah, and we've seen Morris do the five rounds before, and he, you know, he keeps up the same pace from start to finish. So, uh, whether Mazur can handle that pace or whether he'll uh, start to crumble under the pressure. Yeah, good wrestling on display from the Northwest Fight Academies. Chris Morris in that round. I mean, he, the way he stepped over in the mount was flawless. Now the seconds have cleared. 
Round two of potential five. Oh, good right hand from Azor to open up the round. And a nice sprawl. I love that hit on the transition from Azor. He's got the bit between his teeth. Um, he, looking just to try and bully him a little bit. Yeah, he knows when things get close that, you know, he's going to struggle to get Morris off him. So when he's out in the open, try and land the shots as much as possible, put a bit of venom behind him. Posting up on that left arm as Morris tries to rack all him down. Ste stepping in between the legs now. Yeah, it's a good, good way to pin him there. He's going to drop for the single, got that back leg. If you can tie that back leg up, yeah, he's relentless really really looking for it. Yeah, it's going to really stop Mazzola's ability to step back up and build back up to his feet. He can't step that left leg on the mat. Going to try and get behind the hips again. This um, Mazzola just doesn't stop hitting from that position. No. So you can try and take me down, but I'll just punch you in the body anyway. They're not the biggest shots, but they do give Morris something to think about. But he's the kind of guy who stays on task, regardless yeah. of what's coming at him. If we know one thing about Chris Morris, it's uh, he's relentless in the pursuit of his takedown. Oh uh, yeah, we, we, once he's got the, we, he has the blinkers on. That's all he can see, and he will work and work and work for it. But in this instant, Missouri is, is not not playing ball with him. Yeah, Morris is just struggling to get that the control that he needs. Doing the right thing, getting the weight coming over Mazzo's hands, not allowing him to step back up. Weight over the top of his shoulders. Yeah, and then chipped away at the thigh and hooked the leg. Trying to drag him down again. Nice knee to the body, Steve. Yeah, I, hear, I saw and I, I heard the response. A little. Ugh. And another. And again. And it's out. If you can't get Mazzo down, he keep working, chipping oh. away. But there it goes. And away from the cage. Mount. Yeah, straight into the mount. Nice leg pinch. And works his way up. Needs to make sure Mazzo didn't overhook the arms and start to bridge and roll him. But savvy to that. Re pummeling. He's looking to get some posture. Yeah, hips low, legs great, bind. Happy to just consolidate his position for a little bit. Out to the back. Oh, both hooks in. A little bit of time to work for the Northwest Fight Academy prospect here. I say prospect, eight and two. Not a prospect anymore. It's a body triangle. Lots more shots, had a bit more time to work from the back this time. Landed some good shots from there. Not even bothered fishing for a choke. No, just, stop it just getting that body triangle and I'll punch away for a little bit. A more consolidated round for Chris Morris there. Yeah, I'd say so. Picked up where he left off in the first. Got into his dominant position earlier. There's another strong round from there. A couple of scares at the beginning. There was a nice right hand from uh, Mazzo, but just, just not enough. Just having to react. And, and if uh, you're, yeah, he's second it, to everything. If you're mad at Missouri, you, you, you want to have a little bit of distance now, don't you? You want to work behind those strikes. He's got, he's got some size. He's got some reach. But so far, Morris has been like the blanket that Missouri never wanted. It's not very comforting, that blanket. Yeah, Missouri, you know, if I was him, if I was his corner, I'd be telling him, you know, on your feet, you don't have to fully commit to every shot. You know, the more you overcommit or the more you commit, the easier it's going to be for somebody to uh, to get into your hips. Some feints, throw some uppercuts as uh, Morris is coming in. Lots of movement, feint, move, pick your sh time when to sit on your shots. Well, but don't sit on every shot. Third round starting here. Yes. Nice high kick from Morris, and it drives him straight to the yeah. opposite side of the cage. Explosive. Yeah, and it wasn't a way Mazzo was going to stop that one. And this Morris now has a solid top position at the earliest point he's had in this fight. First two rounds took him a while. Third round took seconds. And Adam Mazzo, they're going to keep him honest. Yeah, 
happy to sit on that and a half guard there. If uh, Mazur was to try and get up, he would have to use that right leg that's stuck underneath to try and base up on that knee and get up on that side. Which is why I say I'm, you know, not averse to sitting on top of a half guard in that position. Yeah. Really, it limits a guy's ability to work his way back up. And again, if he can get a bit of posture. Oh, heavy shots to the body. It's going to look to... See, so uh, Mazur starts to try and sit there, to, tries to get up on that right yeah. elbow. He needs to get up on the right knee at the same time to have a chance of getting up. And he can't because uh, Morris has got it locked off and he's sat on it, so it's solid work. And he can't go the other way because of the cage. Absolutely hemmed in. Stuck between the devil and the deep blue sea here. The devil keeps chipping away though. Oh, it's just trying to smother the face. Anything to disrupt the breathing. Grind him on in there, trying to work inside the arm so he can get some shots off. Morris in no rush to get anything off when he's uh, got a dominant top position. Again, looks to try and get some posture and land, but it is on Missouri to improve this position. Because you can't imagine for a second they'd even consider a stand up from here. Looking at heavy shot to the body, looking. Yeah, getting like a reverse sit position. He looks for the Kimura from there. He's got a good, might be able to isolate that arm. Yeah, and there's a ride to that. But managed to get a, has he got a hook in there? Just, not a, a butterfly. Yeah, yeah, like a single almost. fly almost, but. Morris again just sits on it, nice and strong, nice and heavy. Head to the body. Get up, land your shots. Get back down again. But Morris doesn't lay in prey either. I mean, he, he looks for position and then he looks to try and damage or looks to it, get into an even more dominant position. I love the fact he doesn't settle. And a slice open that guard again. Just heavy pressure on top from Morris. Yeah, I mean, that, you know. That's how he wins fights, it's Morris 101. When you see him dominating people, that's what he does. And Mazur, you know, got taken down in the opening seconds of that round and never even looked like getting back up no. this time. And that's gotta, that's gotta send warnings over to the MMA Academy Liverpool corner there. Again, need to apologize to those guys. My information gave me the wrong camp. It is what it is. But I'd never want to show any dis disrespect to Jason Tan and company. Yeah, so coming into the championship rounds, that's, you know, three rounds to the good for Chris Morris. But we do know that Mazur has A, submissions in his back pocket, and B, knockout power, because we've seen both of those from him. Absolutely. Six minutes left to separate these two young lightweights. Here we go. Let's see if Missouri does anything different at the moment. Also, the shot there. Morris confident now to shoot from way out, even if he only has to back Missouri up to the fence. Should be able to struggle there. The, yeah, should be able to struggle out all the way to the back with the way the arm is. Gonna try and drag his man down. Controlling the legs. And this is exactly this is exactly what you should be doing against a, a monster like Mazur. Yeah, jumps to the back, so his opportunity. Looking to try and hammer away now. Big hammer fist there. Got a half, had a little bit of a half Nelson there, now just choosing to hammer away. Mazur as well is going to be feeling the toll of this. All of uh, Chris Morris's weight riding on top of him. Getting a little bit higher at the moment. Yes, 
any chance that no, I was going to say, is there any chance that Missouri come out come out on the other side? But Morris wise to it at the moment. Yeah, if Missouri wants to get up there, he's literally got to get up carrying all of Chris Morris's weight, and that's a, a tiring thing to do. You see that left hook is just. Uh, stuck on um, the left leg of Missouri as well so as he tries to step up Morris is straightening that leg and not allowing him to get up with that hook as well so some smart work in there picking his shots yeah, Missouri just, just seems to be running out of ideas uh, another some heavy hammer fists and Trap was threatening the snake that right arm under the chin but Happy just to hammer away at the moment. Yeah, he knows Mazur's going nowhere. He can pick his shots, hammer face out to the, I'm going to say a more regular sort of back control position now, but he's kept that right hook on the inside. He's going to try and drag his man. Good performance so far from Morris. It's been workmanlike. It's been aggressive. Yeah, and he's non-stop shots coming. He's not much in him, but it's just a constant work rate with the shots. And this is a better position if he wants to really start unleashing the ground and pound. If you can flatten Mazur out, then you do have a fight in position. Ten seconds, Ten seconds left. left. Just hammering away at the moment. Referee Paul Crossy was looking a little bit close. Three minutes left. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, in a situation, if there was more power in those shots, I think you're, uh, you're looking close to a stoppage there. They're tapping away at this. You've got to play that game between having the control and having the power. And Morris is just towing that line a little bit, and he's got good control. He knows Mazur can't get out. He's landing strikes. Just a consistent stream of steady ones. Yeah, I mean, you look at Mazzoni's corner now, he's the kind of guy who goes back to his corner, he's only bouncing around and smiling. He's had, the, he's had that smile beaten from him in these four rounds. Well, our quarter's about to be sent out by Paul Crossley. We've got three minutes left to separate these two young athletes. Then you've got, you know, 10-9, 10-9, 10-9, most likely. Literally all mazur has got at this point is he needs a Hail Mary. It's the only way he can win. He needs to finish in this final round. It's not, if anything, it's much further away with every round. And then, Chris Morris, just go back to what you've been doing for the last 12 minutes. Straight right hand from Mazur came through, but just doesn't have the same zip in it that he had earlier on. And Morris charges in on that double leg under the hips, sucks him out, deposits Mazur backside to the canvas again, this time right in the Northwest Fight Academy corner. Yeah, he's got his mount position now. I think he fancies a finish now. I think he'll open up the taps as soon as he gets the chance. He was like looking to the ref at the end of round four, wanted to finish there. <laughs> well, he'll have to take it into his own hands. Coach JB just asking Morris to move Missouri's feet away from that cage wall. <laughs> Little wink and a cheeky smile there from Chris Morris. Yeah, you see, getting the smother, disrupting the breathing. As you say, he's just waiting for the opportunity to land the bigger shots. If you can clear that overhook, clear the arm. Yeah, and, and, and Morris doesn't need to pick up the pace anymore. He just needs to keep control, and Manny Missouri needs to find a way back up. Yeah, so now I think Morris' only predicament is does he turn up the pace, get more posture, potentially risk more of a risk of an escape, and go for the finish? Or oh. just ride it out? That was a big right hand there. But I do think with how tired Missouri is now, if he opens up the taps, I don't think there's much left in him. On to the back, hooks in. Flattening flat, him out. Flattening him out, gets hips down. I think this could be the finishing sequence. But Mazur still got that fight in him to get, try and get back to his knees. But I think if, if Morris just lets go now, lets rip and starts letting the shots fire, and I think he'll get a finish here. I think Mazur's got the wherewithal left in him to uh, prevent this anymore. The referee's asking 
for him to show him something. He's not capitulating. He's still trying to move, but there's just... There we go. Gets, it, gets to his knees. Yeah, I mean, still in the fight. It's still body and mind still in the fight, but he's just outskilled vastly at this point in time. Yeah, the grappling is a huge difference, and Morris now hammering away. Still trying to cover up his Missouri. Yeah, just Paul pure, Crossley looking close. Pure toughness keeping him in it at this point. You know, fighting spirit keeping him in it. He's got no chance of winning this fight now. You know, I think that moment has passed. Yeah. But he doesn't want to give up. Will he see out the last 10 seconds? I think, yeah, I think he will, and fair play to him. But it has been an absolutely, I'm an not. absolutely beautiful display from Chris Morris. Yeah, so, I mean, you're looking at, what, 50, 41? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah, I have thought so. And that's as dominant a five-rounder as you're going to get. And Morris got more dominant as it went on. You know, he won every round, but the rounds got stronger and stronger. And, uh, yeah, awesome performance for him over the course of five rounds. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we will go and we will crown ourselves a new lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, after five hard fought rounds, we have a unanimous decision. For the red corner, Chris Morris, your new amateur lightweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a big round of applause to the opponent, Matty Mazur. Besides our new amateur lightweight champion, Chris Morris. About as dominant a championship fight as we've ever seen. Could have been 10 8 rounds across the board. But Maddie stayed tough. Were you surprised that he was there at the end? I didn't do much, but yeah. I was surprised, to be fair. Uh, but that was my fault for not finishing when I could have. But I'm glad that I won. Your grappling was absolutely on point. It took a, it took the first round, I think, to feel it out. But after that, did you feel that that was the easiest route to victory? Because it, it looked like once you had him in top from top position, he couldn't get up at all. I knew that he only had the guard, and as long as I wasn't lazy with it, and I made sure that I always kept it in, um, in my mind, I knew he wouldn't be able to finish me with no shit triangles or nothing. So. I'm confident with my grappling to be able to deal with whatever coming came at me in that way. So, yeah. Unfortunately, no 500 pounds on this, but <laughs> maybe next time. Maybe next time, yeah. Chris, before I let you go, you have a ton of fans here. Anything you'd like to say to them? First of all, thank you to all. I love you for it. Thank you for your support. Appreciate all, all the help that you give me. I know I don't let this, I, lo uh, I don't get to spend a lot of time with you, but all the, do the time that I do get, I love it to bits. So thank you for your support. Thank you for all my sponsors as well. You have got all my shirt on the back. Without them, I won't be able to carry on doing this the way that I do. So much love to them. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for your new amateur lightweight champion. Chris